Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Wilkes85, and right now I'm going to make some food. So for vegetables, i got some peas right here. And uh, for mashed potatoes, I have instant mashed potatoes. Usually I make real potatoes because, I don't know, I just like to taste so much better. But, you know, there's only two potatoes left and they're both rotten, so <laughs> I thought, hey, I'll just use this, you know. And for the meat, I have sirloin beef strips. Now let's prepare this, shall we? First things first, um, I gotta boil some water for the peas. So I just kinda do this right here. I'm using hot water because I'm sick of waiting a thousand years for the shit to boil. Oh shit, I'm gonna make the same mistake I did last time I made a video like this. for that to boil. Now you gotta take some Pam. Spray it in there. Oh fuck, I'm almost done here. Oh. I take the uh, sirloin strips and I'll just stick them on there. I guess I can stick them all on there. I suppose this tool is as good as any. Now it's time to make the mashed potatoes. 250 mils of wa milk. I almost said water there. But this is 2% milk, so it's pretty much water anyway. <laughs> And 250 mils of water. Hey, check this out. It tells you to use imperial margarine. But I'm not doing that. I'm using basil instead. Darn I, rebel. It says to wait until this starts boiling before I put the margarine in, but I just stick it in whenever. I mean, it's going to melt eventually. It's not like it'll come out wrong or something. And I should really be stirring this, otherwise I'll get a big skin on top, which is kind of gross. So I just got to wait for that to boil. Now let's check on this, shall we? Ah, it's looking pretty good. This smells really good. It smells like actual roast beef. I was expecting some processed crap, but this is pretty nice. Not that I have anything against processed food, but... I mean, I eat it all the time. I mean, we all eat it all the time, no matter how hard we try not to, but... And you know some of that looks green? It's not actually green, it's just the lighting in here. And now it's time to put the peas in the water. Watch me spill them everywhere. <laughs> there we go. Oh, is that it? I thought there was more than that. Now they're all stuck to the bottom. Isn't that just wonderful when that happens? I love peas though, these are awesome. Actually, I wanted to make lima beans, except uh, the packaging wasn't opened yet, so I thought I'd use these up first. Now to boil some water for the gravy. Let's plug this in. All done. <laughs> Well, this pretty much appears to be done, so I'm just going to take it and put it on a plate. Oh, I'm spilling everywhere. Don't worry, I'm not going to eat this all at once. I'm not that big of a pig. <laughs> oh, 
Well, it seems that this is pretty much ready. It's not completely boiled, but it's close. I usually don't follow the instructions exactly correct, but, you know, I do what works for me, you know? The peas are all floating now. Well, that's not all of them. There's actually more stuck. To them. Well, that's, that is all of them. I just gotta wait until they start boiling and then, then they'll be ready. So now to throw in the mashed potatoes. I don't even think these are potatoes. I think they're just simulated potato or something. Oh shit. Well, kettle's about to go. Well, mashed potatoes are ready. Well, they'll be ready in a few minutes. You just gotta sit. The uh, peas are ready. Almost ready. It's starting to boil. The water is ready for the gravy. That'll take like five minutes, even less than that. Now I'm just gonna show you guys how to make the gravy. It's fucking easy. Anyone can make it. Like, if I can make it, anyone can. Now you really gotta stir this quickly. Well, I fucking think I think I need a fork actually. I know some of you guys probably look at this and think, "What the hell is all this processed shit he's making?" Well, you know, this is quick and easy, so it works for me. Usually, I like to make like, real food, but you know, this is you know this is pretty nice, you know. After that, you pretty much just gotta let it sit for a little while. Probably about five minutes or however long it says on the packaging. I think, um, what does it say? Well, it just says it'll thicken upon standing. It doesn't say how long it'll take. But whatever. Now I just gotta put some butter in here. Get some on the bottom before I put the peas in. Just so they don't stick. Now just kind of get the butter all over all the peas. That ah, should be good. And here's the finished result. As you can see, it looks pretty damn good, doesn't it? You know, just a simple supper. Well, see you guys later. Oh man, you know what's so fucking crazy? I lost the lid for the margarine. I have no idea where it is. I looked everywhere for it. 